Hi, my name is Rochelle Good, and I'm the author of the novel Five Little Indians. This novel is important now in my view because it's important that the country at large never forgets what happened in the residential school system and can develop an understanding of how the harms caused there continue to echo through the generations of Indigenous survivors. There are five protagonists in my novel, six if you count John Lennon the dog, who does play a very important role in the book. Uh, those protagonists are survivors, residential school survivors, Kenny, Lucy, Clara, Maisie, and Howie. And they all come from different places in the country and in the province of British Columbia. And their lives unfold um, in relation to each other and in relation to the world that they are uh, thrust into. I think first novels are special because they, they, they're like a preview to the potential career of the author. They're like a preview of what this person has to say in terms of the stories that they're carrying and hoping to, to offer to the world. And so they have a, an air of excitement, if you will, in my view. If I could give advice to a writer working on their first novel, it would be don't give up. First of all, don't give up. It took me nine years to bring this book from idea to publication. And it's it can be a long and arduous road, but don't give up because it's your story to tell. And also don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't, don't be afraid to reach out to a mentor to assist you because you're new. <laughs> I reached out to a mentor and ended up having to cut the first five chapters of my novel and incorporate the uh, uh, incorporate that information throughout the novel in a different way. It took me a year to do that, but it was phenomenally excellent advice. So don't give up and don't be afraid to reach out for help. The books that I'm currently reading and working with right now are uh, primarily related to the, to the new novel that I'm writing. And I'm reading uh, Jean Tellier's um, lovely, amazing book, the Northwest is our mother and uh, I'm working on or uh, I'm rereading because I'd read it before James Daszak's Clearing the Plains and uh, also Seeing Red which is an older book but it's a wonderful publication about the relationship uh, between the media and perceptions of Indigenous people and finally a book called The Montana Cree um, we, who were actually Canadian Cree and, um, but again, this is all uh, uh, material that I'm reading in developing my next book. And uh, I'm craving a juicy novel right now, I have to say.